Hi everybody, it's Aneta and Mongo here with K-pop Oracles. We're bringing you another K-pop tarot reading. Today we're going to be doing a reading on Wendy of Red Velvet. We're just going to be doing a little personality and also a career prediction reading. Okay, so let's see, what is she like? What is Wendy like? What is Wendy like? We got Mochi. Mochi, you're like loud. She's on the stool chirping. Mochi, come over here. Yeah. What is Wendy like? What is Wendy like? Okay, we have the Six of Swords. Okay, there's something about her that's very calming, okay, very soothing too. And just someone who is not the type that would rock the boat or like um, get into arguments with other people. Like she's, she seems like a really calm person really chill okay gets along with others easily she's not the type that would, like start fight with fights with people okay she's not she's not about that life okay what else we have the ten of coins ten of pentacles She's she's a very solid person, okay? Just someone who's always stable or just always had like a really um, a, a great up uh, or like really a happy upbringing. I think if, like, and also just someone who has a good relationship with her family too. I feel like family is important to her and it's really important for her to kind of maintain a, like, a, like a happy or stable connection with them. And, or people just see her as like maybe as family too or just someone who's really reliable. She seems like she's always been like wealthy or just like, you know, always had money. We had the Knight of Cups. She's uh, she, there's something about her that's really romantic. Okay, maybe she thinks about love a lot or just really sensitive too, or just someone who's really expressive. Okay, I feel She's a very loving individual too, and or just maybe falls in love easily. Okay, what else? Okay, we have Saturn. Saturn, 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 okay. She is very wise, she's very mature, okay. And also, um, this someone who's a very careful thinker, or very analytical too. She's not someone who will like rush into things. Okay, she likes to look at the big picture. She's also someone who's very hardworking, really practical, really down to earth, and um, yeah, just really, really wise for her age, really mature, and just someone who is like a realist. I feel. have in the fifth house in the fifth house okay she is um, hmm, okay she's just fun to be around okay just someone who uh, is very lively too is just like almost you know just like a like a ball of sunshine okay it's just like and also just very romantic she seems like someone who's very artistic too like she's very creative and also um, very innocent as well there's certain innocence about her and also just someone who's again is very loving and also who just um puts in a lot of work in everything she does um, okay oh my gosh okay Okay, this like I don't want to read those cards. This car couple cards popped out, but I won't read them. I don't. I tend not to read cards that pop out. Okay, we have lavender. Okay, yes, her presence is is very calm, very soothing. Okay, lavender is a, like a very um. There's something about this flower. This you know yeah, very calming, very soothing. Okay. Um, and also, she seems like someone who's very spiritual too, okay? Really cares, like really tries to take good care of herself.
Okay, we have Peach. She just brings life to like any everything, okay? Like everything she touches, like it just turns to gold. Like she's a really, it seems like it's just someone who plays a really important role in the industry, okay? Like, um, uh, can't live without her. <laughs> she brings life to everything. Okay, we have caution. Okay, very again, it's a sign she's very careful. Okay, she's um, tries not. She's the type that tries not to rock the boat or just like or like say something that would like, um, you know, make the others feel uncomfortable. Okay, like she's she's learning to be, or maybe she has maybe like in the past maybe she wasn't careful with her words, but now she's like learning to you know, be careful what what she tells others. Okay, okay. Okay, last card we have is annoyed. Hmm. Okay, uh, maybe she's just someone who who may get irritated easily. So if you try to like um, annoy her, or poke fun at her in any way, like she'll snap at you. Okay, so um, but you know for the most part she's calm, but if you like kind of like try to push her buttons or like do something that is irritating, she will express it. Okay, so let's see, um, let's move on to her career. What is she struggling with right now? What is Wendy struggling with at the moment? Okay, what is Wendy struggling with at the moment? Uh, okay, spend time with animals, okay. Not sure if she has fur babies, okay, or little like um, I don't know, dog children or cat children or whatnot or bird children. So maybe she wishes she had more time to spend with them. I don't know. <laughs> or just loves animals, maybe, and wishes she had a pet. What is Wendy's career struggle? We have healing, mm. okay. She might have gone through some rough patches, okay, and she needs more time to kind of, like to herself, to kind of just heal, like, or find closure and just like kind of move on. Okay, we have inner life. Mm. There's a lot of things that she holds um, inside, okay? Or just like sometimes she kind of tends to keep things to herself, okay? Or maybe there might be some issues with like inside herself that she's for some reason afraid to kind of talk about or kind of deal with at the moment. Okay, let's see. What's gonna happen to her career this year? Four of Earth or Four of Pentacles. She might be keeping a low profile, okay? Because the Four of Pentacles is not someone who's very open, okay? Or just kind of like really cautious, okay? Doesn't let anyone in easily into their lives. So she might be having her guard up this year. And also, um, I feel like she's gonna learn to grow. And also, she's gonna learn to grow to be like a really successful business person, okay? It's like she's gonna learn to kind of manage her resources wisely. And also, um, uh, be, being careful about who she lets into her life, okay? Or being careful about what she tells others. Okay, we have the two of water, two of cups. Mm, okay, there's something like, um, I don't know, there's something about the Two of Cups that like is very soothing, okay, or just like, um, I feel like, like, I feel like she's gonna like, like learn to kind of like, 
or maybe heal from like any like past wounds okay kind of like forgive herself or forgive others and just kind of move on and I feel like she's gonna learn or maybe work on like um her close re or like her friendships like like those she's like really close to and kind of like develop an even stronger bond with people or it could also mean like possibly finding love okay and also um learn to, like she's gonna be like stronger i feel and also just like um more resilient okay and also like there's people who do support her and also like really love her and so she's gonna like just try to build a stronger connection with them um these are people that she doesn't want to like give up on we have strength she's gonna be very she's gonna be seen as someone who's very powerful okay like a force to be reckoned with um, she's gonna be she's gonna grow stronger I feel like internally okay because right now that's her her biggest struggle right now is just like some inner turmoil and she's gonna be able to overcome anything and also um, it, uh, yeah just like kind of learn to be more kind to herself and also um, yeah like she's gonna be seen as someone who's who's really strong um, someone who is really has a lot of charisma too I feel like people are going to be really drawn to that or really look up to that. Okay, we have the swan. Mm. Okay, swan. Okay, the swan is is known to be a really graceful, really elegant, really um, beautiful animal, okay? Maybe she just felt, maybe like there was times where she felt she was really unpretty, but now I feel like maybe this year, this is gonna be a year where she's gonna really um, shine or just really kind of tell herself, you know, I'm beautiful, you know, like who cares what other people say, like I'm beautiful inside and out. She's gonna really go through like a major transformation. we have we have polar bear polar bear uh, believe it or not is an animal that has to do with like you know your ancestors your upbringing so I feel like she it I feel like she thinks a lot about like spending time with loved ones okay like maybe her like her distant relatives or, or reconnecting with those who she hasn't heard from in years I feel like family to her is like again is like really important Oh my gosh. Okay, we have the raven. Hmm. Okay, she has to be very careful this year because the, I know the raven, look at this, it's, it's standing on top of the skull, so that's kind of like, yikes. Okay, so she's gonna have to be really careful this year, okay? There's some like, Hmm. Uh, uh, like either um, someone or something um, might try to like I don't know I don't know like maybe tarnish her in image or something okay so she's gonna have to be careful again about the people she associates with or what she tells others because people have a tendency you know there's like people who are out there who are just not the greatest okay or tend to like um, say the, like the nastiest things so she's gonna have to be learn to be more cautious don't just like trust others too easily or you gotta be like really careful. Okay, but we have love. Okay, it's sign that she might, maybe she might find true love, okay? Or may maybe she'll realize who's her true friend or who's, who's loyal to her, who's trustworthy, okay? Who will always have her back? Okay. Okay, we have Dark Moon. Okay.
Okay, let me pull out one more card. Okay, we have we have the Harvest Moon and Dark Moon. Okay, so I feel like there's some projects that she wants to work on, and it's gonna she's gonna make it things a reality. Okay, and I feel like she's gonna learn. Uh, she's gonna take even greater risk. Okay, or step into the unknown, and you know just do things she's never done before. And it's gonna be really. It's gonna give her like a like even greater sense of like abundance or like. Um, I feel like it's going to be a project that's going to be really successful. Help her gain more recognition, I feel. We have music. Hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, so this project is might have to do with music, okay? Maybe possible more solo work? We have time to decide. Hmm. Okay, like right now she's like maybe just unsure or like trying to figure out what to do in the future, okay? Like there's, there's so many things she wants to do. I think right, like this Right now, she's focusing on music, but I think maybe in the future, she's gonna like try to do something else, I feel. Let's see, what advice does the universe have for her regarding her career? Okay, we have no beating yourself up. Okay, no beating yourself up anymore. It doesn't help and you deserve it, okay? So she's hopefully will, you know, learn to be more kind to herself. Um, you know, no one's perfect. It's okay to not be perfect, okay? Like, sh just embrace what you have. <laughs> so as long as she has a positive mindset, you know, like she'll be able to get whatever she wants. She'll, she'll do well, I feel. Like she just has to kind of have to be more cautious or more careful this year maybe. Okay, so that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button. I'm also on Twitter. You can follow me at KpopLocals1. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.